Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're returning to the topic of the Psalms and their meaning. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The Psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the Dewey Rames Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the Dewey Rames Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 38 in the Dewey Rames Bible, but Psalm 39 in the RSV. Unto the end, for Idithan himself, a canticle of David. Not much is known about Idithan now, just that he was a man who David knew and that his sons played the harp in praise of God. I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I have set guard to my mouth when the sinners stood against me. I'll be careful not to use my words to say anything sinful, like leading people into sin or bearing false witness against others. I was dumb and was humbled and kept silence from good things, and my sorrow was renewed. I was miserable when I didn't use my words for goodness. My heart grew hot within me, and in my meditation a fire shall flame out. By meditating I can increase my determination to do God's will. I spoke with my tongue, O Lord. Make me know my end. And what is the number of my days, that I may know what is wanting to me? Please provide me with guidance about what to do next, so that I know what sins to be on guard against, and how long I have to go on for. Behold, thou hast made my days measurable, and my substance is as nothing before thee, and indeed all things are vanity, every man living. Everything we do is meaningless in the face of our impending death. This is a philosophical claim that isn't popular, but is logically impossible to refute, unless you believe in heaven and the promise of eternal life. In Old Testament times, they didn't know about the promise of immortality, so this kind of sentiment is mentioned a number of times here. Surely man passeth as an image, Yea, and he is disquieted in vain, he storeth up, and he knoweth not for whom he shall gather these things. The impulse people have to accumulate earthly wealth and goods is meaningless, since everyone dies and their goods end up in the hands of people who didn't work for them, mostly. And now, what is my hope? Is it not the Lord? And my substance is with thee. The only real hope that we have is in God. Deliver thou me from all my iniquities. Thou hast made me a reproach to the fool. I was dumb, and I opened not my mouth, because thou hast done it. We should be entirely open about our devotion to God and his will, regardless of the consequences of doing so. No insults, no scolding, no ostracization, deprivation, torture, death, or even starvation is worse than turning our backs on God. Remove thy scourges from me. The strength of thy hand hath made me faint in rebukes. The serious consequences of disobeying God have worn us down terribly, and we plead with God for mercy and relief from them. Thou hast corrected man for iniquity, and thou hast made his soul to waste away like a spider. Surely in vain is any man disquieted. There is no escaping the consequences of sin by any action of our own. Only the mercy of God can forgive our sins. Even worrying or agonizing over our sins mean nothing if we don't appeal to God for forgiveness. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and my supplication. Give ear to my tears. Be not silent, for I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner, as all my fathers were. Please hear our prayers, because our relationship with God has been horribly damaged, to the point where he treats us like total strangers. O forgive me, that I may be refreshed before I go hence, and be no more. We plead for God to forgive us of our sins, and take us back, so that we can escape from final death, a worse fate than any other. We would call this hell today. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.